Labour kept up its campaign of deception until the end. Late in the campaign, a new group of protesters hounded Michael Howard. Suddenly, as if from nowhere, a group of six grim reapers turned up, including one very tiny grim reaper, sort of intoning, boo more bust, boo more bust. I came across them in, uh, in Tadcaster in, in North Yorkshire. Plain placards again with slogans written in marker pen. They, they were very organised, if not more organised, uh, than, uh, than, than the Harrogate mob. We never actually found out who these people were, but they followed Michael Howard for most of the, most of the latter part of the campaign. But at Tadcaster, one grim reaper gave the game away. This girl walked up to me, a student walked up to me and said, uh, and asked me if I worked for the Labour Party, and I said, no, and I identify myself as a journalist. And she said, oh, I must have recognised you from Labour Party events. And so I asked who she was, and she said she'd been one of the grim reapers, and then joined her mates who were sitting in a car, uh, jumped in, and uh, I saw that they were all holding big li vote Labour placards, probably off to another event where they were being a bit more honest about uh, who they were representing. The head of the London Regional Press Office had known who'd organised the Harrogate demonstration. Jenny asked him about the Grim Reapers. Did you see Howard yesterday? There was lots of protesters around the, the Howard thing yesterday. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. They're just showing pictures on Skype. Mm. Was that, I mean, is that, is that something that, that you know... We, we may have had some... <laughs> Jenny Kleeman had worked on the Labour Party campaign for three months.